Good rainy morning everyone. Let's learn more about Cebu Blue Pothos and how to care one. Right before us is one. You can tell by the silvery blue colors it has. So let's start with this one. So it was a propagation of one cutting with three leaves. Okay, so you can grow them two ways. One is to let them climb and the other is to let them hang. The climbers tend to create bigger leaves with slits or holes while the hangers remain small with no slits or holes. Okay, so let's go through each leaf. So these three were the original ones from the mother plant and this was the first leaf it created after propagation. It's smaller. And then we have a trail here. And then this one reverted and no longer has slits, but it does have some holes. This has a bigger hole. Okay, I also noticed that it's silvery blue here but the old one reverted to being green. They had the same color, but it still has some silvery hues on them. Okay, going back, this one now has slits. Uh, this one reverted to no slits or holes at all, including this one, but it's getting bigger. Now, here it's back to back in business with slits and holes and it grows even bigger and bigger but it's reverting back to being smaller because the pole is too small for it now <laughs> okay for the care so they can tolerate a wide range of light this one is under light shade, but they can also grow without the shade. For the water, I usually water them when a day after it's dry. So if I see the soil dry today, then I water it tomorrow. For the soil, it has to be airy. So it's a mixture of gardening soil with some pumice and some cocoa cubes. Okay, so I think that can cover a lot and that's it for now.